we are doing a luxury high-rise apartment. Typically here on this channel, I like to post lifestyle content, so it's apartment tours. We're gonna be doing home tours soon. There's some beauty content here already and then some fashion videos as well. So if that's the type of content that you enjoy watching, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on my post notifications so you're notified every time I drop one of your favorite videos. All right, so like I said, we're touring a luxury high-rise apartment. This one is located in the Galleria area. It is called the Hanover at Post Oak. And when I first walked into this apartment, I realized how similar a lot of the features were. A lot of the apartments that I already post here on my channel that are usually under $1,000. This is a two bedroom, two bath apartment, by the way. It's just really interesting to see that even these luxury high rises, they have um, a lot of similar features that you can get elsewhere for literally a fraction of the price, like maybe even half of the price. In this video, I'll be talking and kind of showing you guys the different features that one, make these apartments stand out, and two, make these apartments similar to more affordable options. I pretty much specialize in finding affordable apartments. If you are looking for an apartment, make sure you shoot me an email. It's kanishajanae at gmail.com. I'll leave that information down in the description bar. So there's gonna be four things I'm gonna talk to you guys about, um, some of the differences, or I guess why the prices of high rises are so high. Those four are, the, the views would be like, the most popular one, the convenience. Most high rises are uh, located in specific areas of the city. And then you have the amenities and then the interior features. So I'll talk about each of those categories throughout this video and just kind of show you guys that you don't have to be in a high rise to get those same features. So let's go ahead and get into this tour. All right, so this is a two bedroom, two bath apartment. And walking into the apartment, the first thing you'll notice is the open concept. Obviously it's a high rise. More than likely gonna have an open concept. But one thing that stood out to me that was very similar to a lot of the other apartments that I do are the cabinets. I have the exact same cabinets behind me and they, uh, yeah, you can't see. It has a stainless steel appliances. They do look to be a little newer. You have your ceramic glass top stove. I have a ceramic glass top stove. You have a granite countertop. Uh, this color is a little lighter than um, mine. Mine is like a grayish black. This is more of a gray white. And then it has an upgraded faucet. But other than that, pretty much the same. The, the features are very, very similar. Um, a lot of remodeled apartments have these pretty much the same features. If not stainless steel appliances, they'll definitely have like black appliances to help tie the apartment all together. Moving into or moving outside of the kitchen, you do have a dining area. A uh, great space for if you're entertaining if you're entertaining people or if you want to make it into your office you do get a built-in shelf in the area as well you can kind of make it your office also to the right of when you walk in you do get a full-size washer and dryer luxury is different for every person for me I consider luxury to be anything that is a convenience because when you think about it apartment complexes don't have to give you a washer and dryer it doesn't have to be an open concept they don't have to put stainless steel appliances. By law, apartment owners, property owners, they're required to provide a livable condition for you. It should say it in your contract. So as long as you have, as long as you're able to collect your electricity provider, you have running water, your appliances work, your heating and AC work, and there's no major damage to your apartment, that's really it. They don't have to do anything else outside of make sure that your apartment is at the bare at the bare minimum livable everything else is an added benefit it's there to create a more comfortable environment to me things like uh hardwood flooring stainless steel appliances granite countertops kitchen islands washers and dryers in the units like those are all luxury features to me because apartment complexes don't have to provide that my first apartment when i moved here was not open concept there were no hardwood floors and it did not have a washer and dryer in the unit i had to go to the laundromat every week every sunday to go do my laundry moving into the living room it's a pretty decent size a little bit bigger than probably most of my videos um, but it is big enough to fit a section on i feel like for the most part my videos and my other tours the living room has been big enough to put a section in there um a coffee table and then your tv and entertainment area as well i feel like the reason why people even get high rises to begin with is the amazing view like i said these apartments are located located in the galleria so you get those views of all the buildings that are in the galleria and then if you look at your far far right you can kind of 
kind of see a little skyline that is a downtown skyline. It's so beautiful. Houston by far has the best skyline. All right, so moving into the second bedroom, like I said, this is a two bedroom apartment. Moving into the second bedroom is a king size bed that's in this bedroom. So plenty of space, great size bedroom. And you also get a private bathroom as well. Just sink space. I mean, you have a little bit of sink space, you have your toilet, and then you have a, and then it has the garden tub where you can soak. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom. And then you also get a walk-in closet as well. Nice size, has built-in shelving, has, you know, it's, great size if you really wanted to uh get into a high rise you can always rent out the second bedroom and charge you know like a thousand dollars maybe you could probably yeah you could probably even charge like a thousand dollars a lot of high rises their two bedrooms are usually like 2300 so if you split rent down the middle and get a roommate get a two bedroom two bath it's you can make it affordable and it'll be worth it because you got the views plenty of space and you get the amazing amenities walking on the other side of the apartment is the master suites i'm going to call it a suite because it's huge again those beautiful views of galleria uptown area you get another view of downtown and again another king size bed still plenty of storage on both sides and in front of the bed so you can do whatever you want to this room and have plenty of space another walk-in closet bigger than the other one built-in storage and then the best part is the bathroom in this bathroom you do have a double sink setup you have a garden tub and you have a walk-in shower hardwood at briar west which is a income based uh housing apartment complex they actually have like the bathroom size is about the same as that so but those apartments are for low-income families and individuals so if you make over thirty three thousand three hundred dollars as an individual, you do not qualify for those apartments. They had apartments, they had one bedroom starting at 800, two bedrooms starting a little over 900, I think. Great price point. The bathroom was pretty much the same setup. You had the double sinks, walk-in shower, and a huge garden tub, so massive space. And that was the one bedroom. That was a four one bedroom apartment. It was amazing in there. As you can see, I have, or I, I find a lot of apartments that have those luxury features, the same ones that you will find in a luxury high-rise apartment such as these. Again, the name is Hanover at Post Oaks, located in the Galleria. All right, so that was it. I hope you guys got a little more information about uh, the difference between luxury high-rises and then like the affordable luxury apartments that I tour here on my channel. Um, it's actually not that different. The only difference really, it comes down to the amenities. Like I said, you can get a lot of these features at an apartment that's maybe on the outskirts of the city, an apartment building that's like a little bit older that was built in like 2000 or maybe even like 1980, but they remodel it and you can get the same features if you really want um, a nice interior. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Follow me on all my socials, Khadija Janae on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in my next one.